Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and today we're playing The Walking Dead. I'm really nervous for today's episode. Very, very, very nervous. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. We're going to be starting episode five today, which is the last episode in season one. And before I even talk about anything that happened last time, I want to repeat myself, which I've been saying this whole series, but I'm enjoying this series so much. This is probably my favorite game I've played on the channel in a while. I even think I like it a little more than Wolf Among Us. I don't know why. The Wolf Among Us though was amazing. And I think I just really enjoyed Telltale games, to be honest. And a lot of you have been talking about wanting to see me play uh, Tales from the Borderlands. I think that's what it's called. I would definitely be interested in playing that soon. Of course, I want to focus on The Walking Dead for right now because we do have a lot of the series to get through and not just focused on playing season one. I want to get through the whole thing. I'm hooked at this point. I care about these characters and even though I know some of them are going to come and go, which I'll get into. And I want to say thank you for all the support on these episodes. Most of these are pre-recorded so I don't know if people are mad at the decisions I made, which to be honest, Fair enough. I had some people be upset at me for being too nice in The Wolf Among Us, but in this game, I'm trying to make the hard decisions here. When we get into the game, it's gonna do a recap of what happened last time, but I wanna talk about my feelings about what happened. As always, there will be a timestamp you can skip to in order to skip the recap and just hop straight into the gameplay. But for those of you who wanna hear my thoughts about last time, Stick around. Last time we were just starting out in the school area in Crawford and it looked to be completely abandoned there. A lot of the episode was just us focusing on trying to find the battery and fuel and medicine for Omid who was still back at the house. I'm surprised we left the guy by himself with like a broken leg. I don't, I don't know. We were with Molly most of the time and we found the battery in a car. At one point Molly got really angry and started attacking one of the walkers there and it was clear it was very personal against this one walker because she just kept going at it. You know, sees. I guess this dead guy that Molly was attacking was actually one of the doctors in Crawford and she was sleeping with him to get medicine for her diabetic sister and at one point I believe he like screwed her over or something and got her sister killed. I don't know. I'm a bit fuzzy on that whole story but I know that she just really hated him. We got into his medicine cabinet and we got a bunch of medicine for Omid. Toward the end of the episode, we were all in the classroom again and surrounded by walkers who were trying to get in. And that's when Ben decides it now is a perfect time. Tell Kenny that it's his fault that his wife and child died. Don't ask. <laughs> I don't know what the logic is there. And I knew as soon as Ben said anything to him, he would be in danger. And obviously Kenny reacted how I thought he would, which was trying to attack him, which honestly, I don't blame him. But I mean, Kenny's been carrying around so much pain and guilt and sadness through these past few episodes and anger is just the way it manifests itself, I think. I just realized how pale I am and I'm <laughs> so, Pale, bro. What the frick? So yeah, we tried to hold him back, but honestly, I wouldn't have minded if he punched him in the face a little bit. <laughs> I feel bad, but I never really liked Ben that much, I gotta say. After that, we tried to escape from walkers. We went up like the bell tower and Ben got knocked over the ledge and we had the choice whether to pull him up or let him go. And I felt, I felt so bad, but I let him go. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I should have done that, but hey, I'll stick to it. We got back to the house though, and luckily Omid was fine. He did a little fake out where we thought he was dead, so thanks for that, dude. But yeah, in the morning, we discovered that Clem was nowhere to be found in the house, and we were going crazy running around looking for her. Lee went outside and found her hat on the ground outside the gate. That's when he got attacked by walkers, and he was bit on the wrist. And I just... Uh, I really hope this is not how he dies. I don't know, but nothing's stopping Lee at this point. He'll die before he lets anything happen to her. So now we have Omid, Krista, and Kenny here with us to help us out in trying to find her. We're off to find Clementine now, and I know that she'll be fine because she's in the rest of the series. I know she's fine, but I am just really nervous about what's going to happen. I don't think I'm ready to say goodbye to Lee. I don't think I am. Anyways, that was a long enough intro. Let's not waste more time. Let's get into this game and see what happens next. Okay, so <laughs> I am not ready. Just like in terms of the game, I'm scared of what's gonna happen. I don't know who's gonna die, who's gonna make it. I don't know. We'll see. I would hope that Omid doesn't die like right away because we did 
do all that to try to save him? Previously on The Walking <sighs> Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. <laughs> hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Oh, Carly. Here, you can have some too. But we'll be in this is Savannah, all Carly's fault. <laughs> parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't oh. come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Oh, man. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Oh. I have such a pit in my stomach right now. Oh man. I don't know who's gonna make it. I just know that uh, I already talked about it in like the first episode about how I know Lee isn't gonna make it. And it's just like coming to terms with that is so hard because I think he's such a good protagonist and it's gonna be really weird without him. And I'm like a little mellow right now because of that. I don't know, man. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. But, yeah, but Vernon doesn't have her. Are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Cody. Where have you taken her? This isn't Vernon, and you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine, but if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Please, don't hurt her! Hurt her? Please. I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that. Oh, God. It, he must. This must be the guy who's watching us outside of the gate. But she's been talking to him on the radio. Just <sighs> hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. How are we Don't gonna do this? Now. We'll get her back. Thanks. Uh, I'm so anxious right feeling? now. Uh. Not great. My hand is hot. And it's thumping a little bit. You seem okay for now. Yeah, totally. We don't yeah, have much time. Yeah, totally. We gotta chop that sucker off, dude. Please. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Okay. I literally have like an anxious stomach ache right now. <laughs> okay, um. Nothing through here. What do Damn. I do? I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. That would have been smart. Hey, girl. This is not the time well, to talk. To but... later. Yeah, I know. Okay. Any trouble? thousands of dead filling the sewers and god only knows how many up top so you know you know just thought i'd chat with all of you guys hey what's up kenny for a way out. yeah get to it okay okay <laughs> is there a saw or something we can do we can saw off my hand so that i'll be fine i really hope it's not something where i mean i know oh shit what's that uh, it's like a carjack. Ribs. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Rib spreader. Ugh. I don't know what that does, but I'm just gonna keep looking. Please tell me there's a saw in here or something. But I know he's not gonna make it, so what does it just matter? Oh shit. That's a good thing, right? 
chop that sucker off. Scale. That's this not gonna... Unreal. Okay, thanks! <laughs> I hate when the game does that. Just gives you pointless shit to look at. Oh, no. Hey, the rib spreader. I, way out. I hear walkers, though. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Still looking. Okay, is there anything? No. Okay, now we go. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. Hopefully there's no walkers. Wow. That thing is strong. You good, Lee? Oh, shit. Oh, no. Is it already kicking in? Ugh. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> Fuck. Is he oh. Shit. This is bad. Fuck. Help me move it. Cut it off. <laughs> Cut it off. Okay. This has to be done. Oh, God. Sorry. He's going to do it. I got to do it. Oh. I'm awake. Stop. He's awake. He's still bitten. So? Oh man. This is oh, about man. trying to save him. At the very <sighs> least, buy him some time. Chopping his arm off. Yes, do it. Do it. We know do it. it. Works. We don't know anything. We know there's going to be a lot of blood. There's yeah. going to be a shitload of blood. Oh no. What if he dies? <sighs> then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Damn right. Let's do this. If there's a chance it stops you from turning, we have to take it. Yes. Just do, do it. it. Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. Yeah. We're down here yeah. without a lot of options. We have to. No. Cut it off. But I know he goes anyway. Just do it. Just do it. This is going to hurt. <laughs> Cut it off. Oh, shit. Please. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh no, I don't want to watch this happen. Ugh, give him something to bite down on. <laughs> Fuck this. Fuck. Just gotta do it. Wait, I'm not gonna do it myself, am I? It was easier when I thought he was out. <laughs> Who's gonna do oh, it? Jesus. Fine. Oh my god, he's making her do it. I'll go Kenny, as fast as I can. You bastard. Oh my god. Uh if I don't live through this, I need you to know you are. Oh god! Oh Try god! To stay still. Uh, <laughs> these options. Uh, uh, oh my god, oh my god. Ugh! Why would you not give him something to bite down on? Or something? Oh no... We... At least they have, like, surgical supplies here. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy now we're- hell. Now we only have we one arm. Maybe we lost you. You've been out a while, man. My <laughs> good riddance. Uh. My arm's on fire. I can still feel my fingers. Holy hell. Oh, oh this hurts more than you can believe. You're, ha you're handling you it be really try? well. <laughs> you lost some blood. Oh, man. I wonder what would have happened if Kenny did yeah. Good. If, if the elevator's it was just me and him. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. <laughs> I don't think we really care about that now, do we? How's he gonna climb that with one arm? Oh shit! I should have thought about this. Jeez. We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. 
You think it's possible for you? Yeah. Get going. How though? I guess if you wrap your stump around it. That sounds so bad. Oh wow. You okay down there? Remember, quiet. No yeah. Deal. Another arm would just get in the way. Jesus oh. Christ, Lee. Ah! Oh. What? What the hell? What's that? What? I'm gonna keep going now. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I'm. Oh God. Okay. <gasps> what? What are you gasping about? Oh shit! That was fucking close. Everything oh my God. Up there. Oh, just fucking peachy. Oh, now is not the time for sass, dude. My arm is gone. <laughs> oh shit. Oh wow. Oh wow, that's crazy. Okay, there are a lot of them. Oh man. I wonder if Kenny didn't do it because I didn't make him shoot <laughs> either of the kids. Is that is that weird to say? I don't know, but maybe if I had made him do that, he would have been more prepared to chop off that arm. Or maybe he just didn't do it either way, but... I don't know. No help. What is with that shadow over there? Okay. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must oh. be thousands of them. I wonder if these guys are from they didn't Crawford. Follow us here. Did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Well, yeah. what do we do now? Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up in all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh... I don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. You lost I'm a fine. lot of blood down there. If oh, you find shit. yourself Still. getting winded, or worse, you gotta let us know. This is my least favorite hand anyway. Um. Okay. Probably just need to go a little slower. And I know we can't afford dead weight, so don't treat me like I am. We won't. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings. Okay. This is what we're doing. I hope that we can make it to her and and not pass out along the way. Hospital must have run out of doctors. Oh man. Okay, well we have a ladder we can use. It's an extension ladder. Or not. <laughs> I don't know. I think a ladder is useful in any apocalypse situation, but that might just be me. Not going back in there. Let's talk to them before we do anything. <sighs> What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Huh, yeah. That could help. Oh. So we could draw all of them to one spot while we run? Okay. Good idea. Keep that in mind. So this guy who has Clem, she's been talking to him for a while, and that's why I think that maybe he's just some creepo psycho. <laughs> but why is he playing games with with Lee, it really doesn't make any sense. If he wants Clem, why wouldn't he just run off with her? That's the church across the street from the mansion. You know. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I might have a way to clear us a path. 
I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Wait, I'm the one who's gonna do that? I can barely walk <laughs> across this roof here. How is he gonna... I don't know if I made a good choice cutting off the arm, but... It seemed like he was ready to pass out. Anyway. So... I don't know. Hey, Ken. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. <laughs> You'd fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Mm -hmm. Something tells me she's not gonna want to. <laughs> she's a little daredevil. See anything? Nah, I'm just, uh... I was taking a minute, actually. Sorry, I... I oh, know I shouldn't. It's fine. You see that bell tower? The mansion's that way. Bell tower's over there. If we go down the opposite side of the roof, we might be able to make it without too much trouble. I can do that. Yeah. Lee's already talking about it like he's not going to be there on the boat, and that's making me really upset. How many you think are wandering around underneath us right now? In the hospital? Thousands. I mean, who knows? It was full of dead before, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. That's what I was thinking. And out there? Look at that dust. Fuck, man, who knows? You Any think? thoughts about anything else? Nah, I'm all right. Just needed to take a second. I'll keep an eye out over here. Sorry. What's going on? That's just... everything. Fuck, man. You know. I do. I can't thank you enough for what you did for Duck. I don't know how I'd be if you hadn't. Don't dwell on it. I look at where we are. Right now. And I can't imagine Cat and Duck and all this mess. Can't. No. No, I I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's, it's not the time. I'm sorry. I'm okay. I don't know if we'll have time later, though. So, you might as well get it all out now. Wait, shit. Sorry, goodbye. <laughs> I was just kidding. I was just kidding. Um, did I already look? Okay. Here's a way down. Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wouldn't wander in the streets down there. Okay, well, we gotta do the bell tower thingy, and then, then we skedaddle. Um, but yeah, so... I wonder if we had made him kill Doc himself. That's kind of fucked she up. Walked away from whatever accident happened. Oh. Well, that doesn't really mean much. Yeah. Huh. Oh, so oh wait, I I didn't even realize that they were in the middle of painting that, and the ladder fell, and then. Ugh, and then they fell and hurt themselves and then walked away in the paint. Okay. I knew this ladder would be useful. Oh, you need some help with that? I'm God. fine. Apparently. Can I can I walk? Oh, here we go. Jeez. <laughs> so what's going on? Oh shit. Oh god, Lee. The bells. Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Wait. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. I wasn't done talking to you. should people. be the one to go. My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who you takes sure? a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Ugh, Lee. Shit, I wanted to talk to the rest of them first. I'm sorry, I usually try not to miss stuff like that, but... I miss talking to them. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the <laughs> one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. <laughs> that thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah. Oh. Oh god. It's nice to see them getting along, though. I feel like half the time in this game is spent us being angry at each other, and it's, it can be draining. Oh no, shit. Go, go, go! Oh god. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Now how Holy do I get down? Shit, man. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh I'm god. Fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No <laughs> shit. Try to find another way out of there. I love how casual Lee is about everything. He's just like, well, you know, I wish I had my other hand. Sell the but rings of this, and there'll be thousands down. What below. can you do? Okay, maybe I should open this first. Locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked. Oh, that sucks. What do I do? A few solid rings of this, okay. and there'll be thousands down below. I just did that. Uh, so what do I do when it goes off? Do I have to jump? What? Am I really gonna have to jump? Oh god. If Omi did it, he wouldn't be able to make that jump, I don't think. What if he did and then he hurt his leg again? <laughs> They're, like, They're coming this way! Tons of them! Jesus! Now get back here! Oh no. Who wants to catch me? <laughs> what? Okay. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. I'm fucked. <laughs> uh. It's not that far. Just a little hop. Oh, that is far. That is. Get a running start, you doofus. What are you doing? Get a running start. Oh my god. Man, I don't know if I can make it. You got Fun. it, Lee! Okay. Uh. Come on. There you go. Further back. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. <gasps> Is someone gonna help me? Oh, my God. Jeez, my hands are Good sweating. Good leap, pal. Let's get the oh hell off god. this roof. They're all just standing there, <laughs> standing back watching. <laughs> oh my god. I love my group of buddies, but sometimes they are not the most helpful. Uh. Ooh. Okay. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't use a gun because that's going to draw more of them. Holy. They took the what boat. The oh come on, shit! Come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. It's a guy on the radio, the one that's got Clem. They're gone. Holy shit! They're gone. Relax. Oh no. Hey guys, no, it wasn't the guy on the radio. Was it Vernon? It was Vernon. Oh, no fuck. fucking way! The invalids. Their the actions, invalids uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just <sighs> people. People who have been dealing with shitty situations even but longer than we have. We they no still they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make a wish was a fucking boat ride. <laughs> when I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out. We'll never find them. I can't believe they did this to us. It's sick. It really is. They use your goddamn sympathy for sick folks and then stab us right in the back. They didn't use shit. They did what anybody would have done. They Guys. were living like ghosts forever and they were fed up. That's it. This is not the time. That was our boat. feels bad about it. <laughs> well, Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us! <sighs> oh, we had to choose, don't we? Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. By himself? Okay. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. 
So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Please? Like, come on. We can do this in the yard. I'm missing a freaking arm. <laughs> like, chill the fuck out. Oh my god. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now without a boat? We well, have I to know find you two Clem. Are just gonna look out for number one. And number two, you know, yourself. It's not like that, man. Bullshit, it's not. Don't engage him, Omid. There's other shit at play, all right? What, you got the boat hidden somewhere? Shut up, dude. Watch your mouth. That wasn't the last boat in America. The idea was sound before, and it's sound now. The mainland is done, and we have no idea what else is out there. I don't want to get us all killed on some impossible mission. It'll be better than getting eaten alone, out there. At least Lee's thinking. You're goddamn right, we get another boat. But not here. Aren't we all missing the point right now? Clementine is the goal. Yeah, That's thank it. you. Damn right. Thank you. Oh shit! Here they come! In the house! Oh man, and she's still out there. I thought we were ringing the bell tower so that we could go out there and find her, but but we don't know where she is. So, man, screw Vernon. That sucks. They we help him out. Get into the backyard, right? We got him meds. We can secure this place. Krista. Uh. Get upstairs. Make sure nobody's here. On it. Krista Kenny. will remember that. Okay. <laughs> uh. Look for weapons. Gather anything you can find. We'll do. Oh, me. Okay. <laughs> what is it? You just standing there? Where are you going? Oh shit! Go now, front hallway. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh my god! No, no! Please don't tell me I have to cut off my leg too. Come on! Please, Son of a help. bitch! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there. Okay, I'm looking. Hurry! Oh my god, stop! <laughs> oh, here we go! Okay, wow, that was easy. Take their goddamn arms off! I'm trying! Come on! Come on! Here we go! Now <sighs> what? Uh Get ready to fight. This place seems sturdy to me. I think we're fine. Are you sure? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh the girl! My ass. Get upstairs. Go. Oh shit. Oh damn. Oh, it's one arm too. Oh, oh no. Thanks, Omi. Guys, help me with this! Okay. Come on. What are we doing? Come on. We're two strong men. Everyone get to the end of the hallway. This will slow him down. We get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. Oh god, hurry up. We can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many okay. points y'all have? Three. Five. Four. You all know where to aim. <laughs> Oh, please don't tell me. <laughs> I have to shoot. I suck at this. I have a cleaver, though, so... Why don't we open one of the doors and, like... Okay. I don't know how many I should shoot. Fuck! That's it for me! Oh, no! I'm out! Me too! Fuck! Where do we go? The window? No goddamn opening! Up! Oh god, okay. Go! Oh, what was that smoke? Hurry up, girl! Oh, okay. I don't care. It was empty anyway. Oh. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot with this game. That Hopefully no one else better. got bit. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay, 
Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. But we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon what? Kent the third. Oh. Industrial Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. <laughs> we need solutions. <laughs> now is Stupid not the jokes. time. Damn, I'm ouch. Sorry. Uh so, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Ah, <coughs> oh, dude. Hey. You're not looking great. And you're warm. Um. I'm okay. Don't. Aw. Uh. Oh, the Marsh House. Marsh She's house. at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. We gotta go. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Um. Stop it. We can't panic. Do you think that worked? I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey. Are you look, turning on me? We could be at a <laughs> I hope Larry not. Situation here. Who's Larry? Oh, no. It don't matter. He looks fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not going to do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't going to happen. How do you Are know you turning that? on me? Oh, Guys, come on. I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. <laughs> you don't want to know. I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. I shouldn't bring up his son. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house, and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! No, I'm going with you. Oh shit. Oh god, what are you doing? You ruined that dude's face. <laughs> Shut up, sweetie. Look. Shut up, sweetie. What? Oh god, I thought he was gonna it's kill me. To hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30 foot drop? No, this mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. We're not lifers on It's a lot, Kenny. Here. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm leaving. This wall oh my ain't god. Shit. Is this really possible? <laughs> this wall ain't shit. Oh my god. These people are cracking me up, but god damn it, Kenny. Why? Why? I know what he's thinking, but. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Okay. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. Uh, can we not turn on each other at this point, please? I was just talking about how it's nice that they're all friends now. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Oh, imagine what would have happened if... We probably oh, wow. would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. Huh. I can't even the background. Uh, and when it happened? I panicked. But now I feel it inside me. Like the day before you get the flu. It's horrible. Oh no. 
It's so weird. So it was Keep too doing late. Keep double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their fight is gone too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? Uh... We just get Clementine, that's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but if it's not that easy... I mean, I... We'll do whatever it takes. Yeah. And, you know, whatever happens to you... Uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off! What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. Oh, no. I want Kenny to look after her. Stop it. Do you hear me? <sighs> are you sure, man? Why are we talking like this? You didn't see him in his family. What he'd do to protect them. We're yeah. not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You You're fine. Die? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Wow, how thick is that wall? I thought it was all corroded. Okay. It shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? <laughs> what the hell do you think? Uh. Still feels pretty recently chopped. So, no, Kenny feels about as, uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I don't know, man. I feel like a man who got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. Aww. Well, Give him a hug. <laughs> Lee's family's gone too. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I I'm trying to be hopeful. Both of you. A lot of us have lost families. Yeah. Oh, don't drink it. Don't. Does Scott tell you much about what we've been through? Stop drinking. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Oh no. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to <laughs> make some tough calls with her dad. Why are we okay? Why are she we talking came about this? Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. Yeah, you're still a bastard. Um. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. Can you not drink right now? This is not the time. Oh, okay. Sure. You know what? It'll ease the pain, maybe, a little bit. You want any? <laughs> Damn, okay. He's like, well, you know what? Don't drink at all. <laughs> Space. Goddamn, girl. I'm through. Oh, shit. Nice. No walkers. Things are looking up. I hope so. I wanted Kenny to look after her because, like Lee said, he'll do anything to protect his family, but... And also, we just kind of met Omid and Krista, and they seem a little accident-prone. <laughs> and so far, Kenny's been doing okay. So, I don't know. But he is very quick to be like, Okay, you're bit... You're gonna die now. <laughs> we gotta kill you. This place seems pretty sealed oh, off. Man. Well. Oh, shit. Oh, the parents! 
Are those the parents? Oh no. And leave their we son. Gotcha, did. Yeah. You did everything you could. No, Lee. She left me. A son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it because it's hard. You stick it out. And you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. Thank you. Move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're heading. Okay. I was gonna say when it happened, I didn't really want to say it because it's kind of messed up. But like, part of me feels like how could she? How could Katja do that to to Kenny and just leave him? like that right after that happened with their son it's just so hard for him to deal with that and i know she was going through a lot of pain but it's like it's tough like what she did was Lee, like you okay yeah let's keep at it okay at least i still have my don't own. ask me how i'm doing let's just keep going okay <laughs> never mind Going out this window. We need to. The streets are full. Hundreds of them. We need someone to ring that bell tower again. <laughs> Anybody want to watch some television? <laughs> Judging by the decor Oops. of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' <laughs> house looked a lot like this, and they watch kung fu movies. <laughs> PPS watchers. Same. Well, at least she's letting him lighten the mood a little bit. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. What do you call this thing? <laughs> His face. What? what? Are you okay? You're you're an odd fella. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. I get that too. Like I, I, I kind of get that perspective of it. But man, might be the way out. Wait, can we can we go in the other room first? House is full too. Oh, Stay okay. Quiet. Never mind. We gotta go. Just let me speed walk my way down here. Nah, shit. How is he gonna make it? Nothing other than personal items in here. You can make that jump, right? Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Someone's got to pull him up, though. I don't know, man. Y'all just let me do all the work. Oh my god. Jeez. Lee's quite the badass. <laughs> Why'd you give her that look? Oh. Okay, you guys don't have any excuse to not make that jump. Come on, dude. Oh shit. Okay. Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? Uh huh. Never say never. <laughs> Good to be moving. Oh, Lee's looking a little pale. You ready for whatever's coming? I got. I just noticed that. Me, Lee. I'd like to get even a little bit of it out. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. All right is that a good idea? Wouldn't Careful we want? Here. Stealthiness on our side. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, don't tell me we trip and fall or something. Holy. The whites of his eyes are a little yellow too. Oh god. Please don't break. Uh. Please. Oh. River Street's just up ahead. God. Oh, look at him. Oh no. Nope. Maw of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. He's got a little floating hairpiece. <laughs> um. This roof could give way. Don't gotta tell me twice. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, my God. Don't. <laughs> Why? <laughs> God. Oh, fuck. <laughs> way to go. Well, way so to go. Sorry. Uh. We have to get it back. That's our lifeline to her. But we can find this guy without it. What if we don't? We need every clue that comes out of it. Lee is right. I am so fucking sorry. <laughs> it's fine. We just need to figure out who's going down there. No, we don't. Oh no. Girl, what? Oh my god. Krista! Oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Oh god. Don't tell me that she's Fuck. We can't reach. Find something. Oh fast. no. Oh no. Past would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. I suggested it. Oh no, I feel bad. Uh, okay, something, something, something. Here we go. Pull. Grab okay. onto this. We'll pull you up. Good. Thanks. Please. Oh, please. Come on. <gasps> ah! Oh, god damn it. Ah, oh, just find something else. Find something else. Oh no, please don't tell me she dies because I suggested that. Oh, fuck. Oh no! Use the pole! Shit, they're in there! Use the pole! Something! Oh my god. Fuck! Jump up here, baby! Let's go! Jump! <sighs> Come on! Me and my fucking mouth. <sighs> Wait, what are you doing? Ken, what are you what doing? Are you doing? Uh, get her, Ken. Okay, oh my god. That shit. And not do something now. Come on. Reach. Uh, 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 got you, hun. Oh Save man. Her. Go, go, go. Do you fucking hear me? No, please don't tell me so. No, no, no. 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 Oh my god. I will uh, be so upset. Get Kenny. Come on. Where are you? Oh god. Oh no. 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 Get the fuck off me! Did I just get him killed? We're going in after him. Go. We can't. We have to. Lee! Go! I'll be... Where... where'd he go? Maybe... maybe he ran. Maybe, maybe the man's all right. Maybe he'll find us. What if he doesn't? He went down there for you. I know he did. He... He better be fine, or I'm gonna be so pissed. Because that was my fault. Oh... He better be fine. We didn't see him die. So maybe he's fine. Oh man. Marshall's hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? He's fine. Kenny to answer for it too. Keep a clear head, Lee. We wouldn't be out here. We'd all been together to defend against Vernon. And we'd be out on the water. Everyone would be alive. This is a shitty time. 
I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Clementine, I know Kenny was your guy. Yeah? When it comes to Clementine. Well... You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. I still want him to take her, but it... <sighs> What's going on with you? I don't know what you mean. I mean, you know why Kenny did that, right? I was in trouble. Sure. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Oh, God. <laughs> Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got <sighs> a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. Decision doesn't make itself. Wait, what? Walking for two? Is she pregnant? Did I read into that wrong? I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Oh god, I hope neither of them die. We didn't see Kenny die, so he's probably fine. I hope. Usually in this series, if you don't see them die, they're fine. They want it to be gory and as heartbreaking as possible. Just go nice and slow. Okay. Oh, man. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Yeah. Uh. Stop! Oh my god. Oh fuck! Oh, come on. Shit. Are you okay? Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? Uh, climb. I'll figure something out. There's not a ton of options. I, I don't know. Can you help me? I don't know what we can do from here. Anything. It's fucked, Lee. Okay. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? I don't know. It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Oh, maybe no. Maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Uh. Find me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotels around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy! There's no other way. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, no. He doesn't look like he's doing good, so... I guess maybe it doesn't matter, but... I don't know. Maybe he did get to it fast enough. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, damn. Lee is such a badass. Ugh. Man. Lose him. Oh, this is so cool, though. It's just so bittersweet. It's hard to enjoy it when you know that he's not gonna make it. Oh, damn. Damn. Oh shit, we gotta find her. We gotta find her. Oh. 
Oh. So I decided that I'm going to finish this episode in this video. I'm not going to push it off anymore. I'm not going to make you guys wait for a whole nother episode. That was a huge climactic moment. I don't want to stop it here. I almost did, but you know what? We're just going to make this episode a little longer than normal. And we're going to do this. Oh shit. I was over here. Oh man, I'm not ready. Oh shit. It was a trap on the other one. I think. Okay. Oh god. Is Clum in there? Oh shit. I got us. You're the guy. Rooms. I'm gonna kill you. Where is she? I already told you she's fine. Yeah, so you let me cold. have her. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Who are you, dude? Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Shh. <sighs> I knew that wasn't a good idea. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Ugh, what a creep. What if he finds it later Just and then Do I not see? <sighs> Shit, I should have kept it. Good. Go sit down. What do you want? Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest full of all sorts of food. What did I say? Things you need to survive. It seems shady. Yeah. What? I'm not some cannibal, V. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? <laughs> she didn't want me to. She didn't want you to do a lot of things. What do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Did he have to kill his son? Yes, of course. Who? Clementine. The girl misses her parents. I'm not them. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Okay, but you still took Clem. Like... And then we <laughs> came back, and all our stuff was gone. 
your people, Lee. That asshole in the oh. ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. You fucked up. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. It's not the woman we killed, right? Do I or... look like a monster to you? Huh. <laughs> uh. You did take her. We all do. Some more than others. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I would do it differently if I could. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. You weren't there. She killed Carly. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off. You're taking all your grief out on me. It's not my fault that your family's dead, dude. How could you know all this? She was talking to him on the radio. The whole time. Where did he get that, though? You're Was that her parents' radio? You're a murderer and a thief, and I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself, because that's what will happen if she goes with you. Then you're gonna have to die, dude. After I Sorry. Put Clementine on my radio. I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. <laughs> nope. We can have a family. Nope. Nope. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. What? Her birthday was six days ago. Aww. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No. Shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. And you're gonna be too. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. What are you talking about? Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. Uh... Aww. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Oh, God. Just about. I hate seeing you like this. Is I she just gonna? Miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. Oh, my God. She's not Lizzie, but she's. Oh, sweet. my God. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. No, 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 no. Oh shit. Damn, Clem. Oh my god. No. Kill him. Get him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. With one arm. This is really hard to do with one hand. Come on! Oh my god. I don't care about your sob story, dude. I really don't. Son of a bitch! Oh god. Just Let's go! go. Away. 
Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. I think that was the first person she's killed. I... 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 It's okay. It's okay. I... Oh, man. Your arm's gone. Why? That's so scary. I... Had it's an fine. Accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clea, it's okay. It don't have to be. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Oh, man. Hey. You saved me. It's my fault. Everything is dangerous. Like you said. It's okay. You learn. Oh, she remembered that from all the way back then. That's kind of crazy. Oh. Which he really didn't out? do anything to her? Through there. Okay. Bowling bag. Oh, God. He kept his wife's head. Don't look in there. No, I know. Okay, that's who he was talking to. I just kind of thought maybe he was a little just crazy. I mean, obviously he is. Goodness gracious. There's nothing in there. Can we go? Yeah, of course. Okay. Should we take her radio? Oh, damn. We don't even know this guy's name, do we? So, that was his car all the way back in that episode. I wonder what would have happened if I did take it then. I really didn't even think that would have been... But I mean, it did look pretty obvious that it belonged to someone, though. So, like, jeez. Whoa! What? Are we gonna? Oh, because of the blood on him. Oh. Oh no! Now we're out. It. It didn't bite you. Yeah. You're covered in all that gross stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. Yeah. That's so, how we'll get out of Savannah. Oh. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're really gonna do this. Okay. Uh, don't... Don't look. <laughs> you might want to pinch your nose. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> She's seen worse, I think. Yeah. But um, okay. <laughs> oh, poor Clem. Uh, don't don't <sighs> Oh god. <laughs> that's so gross. Yeah, that's gross. But hey, whatever she needs to keep her safe. Trust me, you'll probably have to do worse things. I want to be sure. Okay. Sorry. This is gross. There. Oh, so she's just a little baby. And you're missing something. Your hat. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. 
God damn it. I don't want to say goodbye Stand to them, right man. Stand next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. My camera's gonna die. <laughs> Oh man, just, just keep walking. It's fine. Sorry, I had to take a little bit of a break. But we're back. Here we go. Let's hope it doesn't rain. Because rain always seems to happen. And I think it's thundering, so... This is not good. Kenny better not be dead, or I will be so mad. Oh shit. Oh, it is done. Shit, see? Why does this happen? Oh no. Oh, man. What? Is that her mom? Clear. Down. Oh shit, he's in a... Oh no... Mmm, <laughs> I'm starting to tear up. No... How did she get him anywhere, if that was the case? Wake up! Please don't be dead. Please, no! Oh, her parents... Please. I, I was so scared! I, I, I thought you left me! I... I... I saw my parents! Come here, sweet pea. They're dead. <laughs> they really are. Oh, his eyes, too. Uh, Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. We can't. Oh, my God. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! <sighs> I don't want to cry yet. Oh, my God. It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Hold on, three. Okay, don't cry yet. Two. Three. Oh. <coughs> See? Lemon time, honey. Mom is gone because I cut it off. Why would you do that? Because I was bitten, Clem. Please, no, no, that's not true. Yes, it is. <sighs> I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. Uh I I think there might be a way out over there. Good, good girl. Let's go. Uh, I might be a little slow. I'll help you. Uh, yep, I'm fine. I am good to go. Yes, yes. I am, I am good to go. <sighs> I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. Stop it. Stop. Okay. 
Stop. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. You were. Oh, you did, honey. It's awful out there. But they wanted to shoot me up. It was hard. I don't know how you did. I don't know either. Did, <laughs> okay? How in the Go world on. did she do oh, almost there? <laughs> did she get him in here? That is insane. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to move my dad anywhere. <laughs> She's nine years old. Get up, Lee. The door is right here. Okay. We could do it. I can't. You have to. Them, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please try to get up. Oh, God, I come on. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You're gonna have to make sure I don't turn. You won't, though. Then, I will. You know what you have to do. No, I can't. There's no way. We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. We're doing good. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Just start by getting that door open. You can do it. It's locked. It's no big deal. Oh shit. It's just a glass window. <laughs> Oh, no. not with your hand. Uh. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the <sighs> bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Oh, there's a walker, though. <laughs> Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. Scared of the walker. You'll be fine. They still the smell like dead people, there, right? Clem. I know. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. It'll be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. There are handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. I don't want to watch anymore. <laughs> Gets close. Me. You can do it. You can do it. Good job. What? 
should I get first? Uh. In case, in case you have to make a run for it. Oh shit. Oh shit! Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Get it. Get, get. get him! Oh god, here. Get get oh god. Him. Oh my god, what do I do? Watch what do I do? Out. Oh god. Are you kidding me? Come on. Kill it! You have to kill it! What? The bat! The bat! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh! Jeez. Oh my god. You got it. I did it. I got him. Come here. Just for a second. Sweet pea. Stop it. Oh, I don't want to watch anymore. I hate this game so much. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm not doing so good. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, um. I, I was gonna cry, but holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's just a little girl. <laughs> Stop crying. <laughs> Um, I can't read these right now. I'm gonna have to take a little bit of a break. A little bit of a break. Okay, so, took a tiny, tiny mini break. My nose is still so stuffy. <laughs> like, you can hear it. Um, let's look at my stats first before I talk about anything. Remove release arm. You and 68% of players removed your arm. Wow. So you did, so... Doesn't matter, he would have just turned anyway. Lost temper. Even 54% of players calmly argued with Kenny. He better not be dead. He better not be dead. I I don't think he is, because like I said, we didn't see it happen. I think he I think they would have gone after the radio anyway, personally. Leave up weapons. You and 30% of players surrendered your weapons. Yeah, that was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I should have lied. Why didn't I lie? I just thought, like, in case he, like, finds it on me later, he'll, like, be more angry. Holy shit, you can hear how stuffy my nose is. Oh my god. Kill Clementine's captor. You and 10% of players didn't kill the stranger. Wow. Wow. So, I guess not many people did that. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> so she could have... So, I wonder how many people have seen her kill the guy. Because... <laughs> so I I should have been the one to do it, but... But yeah, she did it. Stop Lee from turning. Wow, so if she hadn't killed him, Lee would have been her first person kill. And that is so... I can't even think about it right now, or else I'm gonna start crying again. Um, I still can't talk about it, or else I'm gonna bawl my fucking eyes out. So, stop Lee from turning. You and 95% of players made sure Lee didn't turn. Okay, good. Great. <sighs> oh man. <laughs> oh man. Okay, it's showing. You defended his son at the drugstore, Kenny. You talked him down from ignoring his son's fate. You killed his son so he didn't have to. He was lost to the herd trying to save Krista. Please don't tell me he's dead for real, please. Oh my god, please. I really, really hope not. Katja, you found water for Doc when he needed it. She shot herself in the face with her son's death. I hope that would have wouldn't have changed. Would I could I have prevented that? <sighs> Larry, you tried to revive him with CPR. Larry died in the meat locker at the dairy. I don't think that would have changed other than me killing him myself. You backed her up when supplies went missing. You chose to reveal your past to her. You left her on the side of the road. <laughs> Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did do that. We, you helped him get onto the train. You were separated after you crossed the sign. You defended Ben when he was accused of stealing. You stood up for Ben at Crawford. You dropped Bell from the Ben. <laughs> you dropped Bell from the Ben Tower. You dropped Ben from the Bell Tower. Carly, you trusted her with your past. You saved her life at the cost of another. She was killed by Lily. You agreed with her to tell others about your past. Man, you met her on your worst day thus far. You revealed your bite to her. After getting separated, you told them to find you. Doug, you told he was a strange guy. You weren't wrong. You were with him when you found your brother. He died when walkers attacked the drugstore. Doug, you helped save him his life at Herschel's farm. You, argue, you argued that he was not bitten back in Macon. You shot him before he could turn. You let him be your sidekick. Solve the mystery. <sighs> My god. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I guess we'll talk about it. I can't. I can't. I can't play this. They're also gonna copyright, so I, I'm sorry. But holy shit, guys! I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. I'm. I talked about it way back in the first episode. How I knew, and it was gonna happen. Really, was gonna die. The whole rest of the series, you see Clem as the. As a protagonist, basically, she's kind of like the poster child for this game. I saw her more than I saw Lee. So I guess we're going to play as her in season two. 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, with her, I really, really hope that Kenny isn't dead for real. Um, like I keep saying, I didn't see it happen. So I don't think he is dead. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. Um, hopefully Clem can find Krista and Omid. But holy fuck. <laughs> oh, holy fuck. I just got like a wave. I just got hit with like a wave of emotion when I thought of Lee. I thought I was done. I thought it was. Holy shit. I thought I was fine. And then I thought of him again. And then I. Holy. <laughs> I can't. My ears are plugged. Oh my god. <sighs> my nose is so stuffed that I can barely speak. Oh my god. I can't. I don't think I can talk about Lee yet. I honestly can't. Or else I'm going to start crying again. Because I tried and it'll happened again. So, I'm not going to talk about him. Oh. Where is she? <laughs> Holy shit. She's all by herself? Oh. Don't make me cry again. I just stopped. Uh, they look normal. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. I really hope that's Chris I don't mean or something. I don't know. Oh my god. Yeah, I can't talk about him yet. I can't. Oh my god. Okay, so. <laughs> so that concludes season one of The Walking Dead. Um. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell by my face, but. I'm not okay right now. Um, when I started, I kept reading all the comments that were like. Grab your tissues! Hee <laughs> hee. Um, and yeah, you weren't wrong, guys. You weren't wrong. I thought it'd be fine. I thought, you know, how bad could it really be? Um, no. I'm absolutely devastated right now. And I cannot even think about Lee without tearing up. Yeah, I can't. I can't think about him yet. Um, I feel like <laughs> it's gonna be like a Joel situation where I'm just... A little bit in denial for a bit. I every time I try to talk about uh, every time I try to talk about this episode, I can feel myself about to ball my fucking eyes out. So I don't know what to do for the outro. I don't know what to do for the outro, guys. Um, I thought this game was phenomenal. I thought it honestly was. Um, it's made me feel more than I have in a while for a video game. I think. Um, it's been a while since I've been this emotional for a game. Honestly, a while. When was the last time I cried at a game? I don't remember. Was it Plague Tale? What games have I played? It, because I didn't cry at Tomb Raider yet. Little Nightmares, no. Wolf Among Us, no. Let's go Elysium, I think I cried. I don't think I've cried this much since Ghost of Tsushima. And um, even that, I didn't cry as much as I did in this episode. I literally, when I when I took that break, I was sitting there bawling my eyes out. See? See? I keep trying to, I keep trying to talk about Lee, but I can't, I can't do it yet. I'm sorry. I liked him a lot as a protagonist. God damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, <laughs> this outro is gonna be incomprehensible. Holy shit, I am so disgusting right now. I am Definitely gonna get a headache because I cried so much and I'm still congested and I want to play season two like right after I'm done <laughs> recording, which is not good because I'm gonna be like a disgusting mess <laughs> in 
the intro is gonna be me with like makeup stained all over my face. Um, yeah, so <sighs> um I'm very interested to play as her though, I have to say. That's why I wanna get started on the second season like right away and see what's gonna happen. For now I'm gonna leave this episode off here and I'm sorry that this outro was so jumbled and confusing and I didn't talk about like anything <laughs> other than me just crying but I literally I can't do it yet I can't talk about him yet um so I'm gonna save that for the intro of the next episode where we get into season two of The Walking Dead because I want to get into it so bad and this series was such a blast to play it really was. And I am so thankful to all of you guys who were so supportive of this series so far. I hope my choices didn't piss you off too much. But I think that I think it's very important to choose options that you want to choose and not let other people influence your decisions on it. I want Kenny to be okay. I hope he comes back. I I don't think he's dead. I don't think he's dead because we didn't see it happen. And if he was going to die, it, was, it would be on camera. We would see it. That's That's my thought on it so i don't know we'll see we'll see what happens i am very excited to play season two but also really nervous i don't think this game can hurt me any more than it hurt me just now so honestly i think i'll be fine i think i can handle whatever the hell they throw at me next because you know what i dealt through the worst of it and i'm okay <laughs> i'm totally fine as you can tell whoo Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys got what you wanted. You saw me bawl my eyes out. I know that's what everyone wanted to see. Don't try to deny it. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like or subscribe if you're new. Because I'd love to have you stick around and watch me play some video games and cry my eyes out. That's always fun. I will see you guys in season two. Goodbye.